to record a macro, you can use macro recorder just like a tape recorder and press record to capture your actions. Alternatively, you can build up a macro based on individual actions, step by step. Let's try this now. Select the desired action, like a click. Then perform the actual click. In this example, I want to open the browser. And once I clicked, the captured mouse position is frozen in the dialog and I can return and confirm it. Alternatively, I can configure, of course, whether I want to have a right or a left or a middle click or adjust the actions, like a click, a double click, or just keep pressing down the button or releasing the button. Okay, once I confirm the dialog, a new action has been added to the macro. Now, before I add another click, I would like to add a wait time because macro recorder would be much faster than the computer to play back the macro. So we have to provide the computer a little time to launch the browser. I could click on wait or alternatively use the hotkeys to quickly add a new action. For wait, it would be W. Then I enter like 5000 milliseconds, which is uh, five seconds and press OK. Then I continue with the next click. And to add a click, I press C. Again, I point the mouse cursor and just click. The coordinate is frozen in the dialog and I can return and click OK. Now let's add another wait time by pressing W. And a final click again with C and I close the browser. Now let's try this macro. Works fine.